An online business set up to disrupt the market in university gowns has vowed to bring an anti-competition case against the University of St. Andrews after failing to have a case the institution brought against it transferred to an English court. The university originally took action against the UK arm of Australian business Churchill gowns after replica versions of its iconic red undergraduate gown were offered for sale on the latter's website. While official St. Andrews gowns, which are supplied by upmarket Taylor Ada and Ravenscroft, sell for £159, the Churchill version costs £89. The university raised a court of session action against Churchill, claiming among other things that the business was trying to pass off its inferior gown as an authorised product. Churchill attempted to have that matter moved to the English High Court on the basis that its business is based in London and it intends to bring a claim for anti-competitive behaviour against Ada and Ravenscroft and a number of English universities. It said it believed the St. Andrews case could be joined with those matters. Outer House Judge Lord Doherty dismissed that claim earlier this month, noting that the subject matter of the action has a very real and substantial connection with Scotland. The pursuer is a Scottish university which complains that its trademark has been infringed, and that its goodwill is being damaged by the defender passing off goods as being authorised by the pursuer, he said in a written opinion. While the defender does not have a place of business in Scotland, I consider that on a proper analysis the defender has carried on and continues to carry on business here. Some of the relevant acts of the defender took place in St Andrews. While the online advertising was instigated and managed from the defender's place of business in London, and that is a relevant connection with England, it was and is directed to a very material extent to undergraduates who would be in Scotland when they read the advertising and when they purchased a gown. Any damage to the pursuer's goodwill caused by passing off will have been slash will be suffered in Scotland. Similarly, damage caused by the alleged trademark infringement will have been slash will be suffered very largely in Scotland. Churchill's UK managing director Oliver Adkins said that now Lord Doherty has ruled the case must be heard in Scotland it is our intention to bring a counterclaim in Scotland for anti-competitive behaviour. It has been evident since we first begun selling our undergraduate gowns to students at St Andrews that the university wishes to prevent us competing in the market, Mr Adkins said. They have abused their dominant position by emailing the entire student body to discourage them from buying from us, encouraging those who had done so to seek refunds, made full sess for more on this story, visit the news article link.